Hi, welcome to my video. So, um, I'm Catherine, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a ring like this one. This one is in silver, but essentially I'm just going to show you guys how to do the weave. So you're going to start with two pieces of wire. You're going to have one that's about 10 inches, and you're going to fold it in half as I have here. And then you're going to start with one that's about 5 inches. I made my wire a little bit long, and then you're going to have your weaving wire. So for this, I have a uh, 16 gauge wire. Um, I get my wire from Pear Wire because I it's easy to buy it in bulk there. And then you're gonna use I use 26 gauge for your weaving wire. And I just have um, I didn't measure this. It was actually a piece of scrap I already had. But a lot of times, what you can do with the weaving wire is keep it on your roll. So, you won't need to cut that off at all. Okay, so to start, you're going to fold your 10-piece wire in half. As you can see, I already started. And you're going to take your 5-inch wire, and you're going to put that in the middle. So, you'll start by doing 3 wraps, 3 or 4, around the initial edge, um, just to make sure it's secure. And then you're going to start the rest of the wrap. You might find that your middle wire is slipping out at first, so you might want to start your weave over here and then push it down once you got started a little bit. That way your wires aren't falling out. So for this weave, you, I have my weave already started, so I'm going to wrap two, or you're going to wrap around the two on the opposite side twice and you can push it back push them close together with your nail or you can use your pliers to kind of push them and then once you wrap those two you actually wrap all the way around and we're gonna go in between these two Then you're going to wrap um, between these two, and your pattern has begun. It's actually a lot harder to <laughs> wrap behind the camera than I realized, so... Um, And sometimes when you're new to these things, you're just I just have you might have to replay the video a couple of times to kind of see exactly, you know, what's going on. Okay, so I think I got it long enough now, but I'm just going to check. And so by um, wrapping it into its ring form before I finish it. So you can either wrap it with your fingers if you don't have a ring mandrel. Um, then just like bend it with your fingers and get it to the shape you want. But you really get a nice shape if you use a mandrel. And so this is the first one I got. It's plastic and it was, you know, from a craft store. And it has the size chart on it. And I used this at first, but it has a flat side. And it's kind of soft, so it's not as good as this metal one, which is a lot longer. So I'm going to wrap this around here. 
and get the shape I want. And then I'm gonna, as you can see, this is probably pretty big size. I don't know what I made it. I can try it on, kind of see how big I made it. But it looks like I need to go a little bit longer with my weave. So I'm just gonna keep going. Okay, so I like where I have it right now, this length. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, finish this off by just doing a couple coils around this edge. Uh, would have been easier if I didn't have it curled already, but I'm just gonna do three to kind of finish that. And I'm going to cut it and flatten it. It's a little too much. And then I have this other little one I haven't cut yet. Also, one more thing to note is there's a flat side to these pliers and then there's this side. So you always want to make sure you get a close cut and you're cutting um, like this. If you cut like this, then it's not going to cut where you want it. And these, these ends can be a little bit tricky sometimes, so you might have to um, sometimes uncoil a little bit and cut it more to make sure that they're not poking. So now I just have three of these. Um, I have a lot of extra wire, so you can keep that in mind. Um, when you're like cutting for these, you might not need, like I had a 10 inch and like a five inch or whatever. So you might need less than that. I'm just gonna cut pretty short. I don't know. That's a little too big. Then I'm gonna take round nose pliers and I'm gonna curl these. do this one in the opposite direction. Sorry, my fingers getting up close. All right, and um, then you got it. So I guess you could wear it either way and um, if you have, ooh, see, like, right now I'm feeling this is sharp, this end that I curled here, so I gotta flatten that together so it's smooth. So you can take your mandrel, put it on there, and then if you want to get those real flat, you'll take a hammer, and you'll just go at it. Okay, and then you kind of it kind of flattens the copper a little bit too. So I like to do that sometimes. And then there you go. You got your adjustable ring.